In Stardew Valley, there is a lot to keep track of, but wouldn't it be nice if you could predict some of the things that were going to be sold, such as the shirt Sandy has available before making the trip all the way out to the desert to see? With Stardew Predictor, you'll be able to know some of the items being sold at various shops, as well as so much more. With this video, I'll show you how you can utilize this tool to save yourself time and predict the future. But first, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more Stardew Valley mod content. So, a little warning, this site can be a little cheaty, as it not only tells you what is available at each shop on what day, but it can spoil some things for you, so it'll be up to you to decide what, if anything, you'll utilize from this tool. So, to begin, the very first thing you're going to want to do is load your save file. I'll include a shortcut you can put in your file explorer to locate your save files in the description below. If you're on Mac or Linux, I'll include a wiki page with directions on how to find your save files in the description below as well. So, we'll load up our save file, and you'll see pretty quickly we have results from the predictor down below. So, one of the first tabs you'll see in the predictor is a calendar for special dungeon levels in both the regular mines as well as skull caverns. For the regular mines, the mushroom icon indicates a mushroom level, the sword icon indicates a monster infestation, the slime ball indicates a slime infestation, and the skull represents a quarry level, which will only happen if you've unlocked the quarry. And if the quarry level has an asterisk, it means it's infested with monsters. We can take this example for this save file and see that on this day, which is the 5th of spring, that there will be a infestation on floor 6. And we can see floor 6, there was an infestation. We can also use this calendar to see potential dinosaur levels for the skull caverns. For example, on this day, floor 22 has a potential dinosaur level. However, unlike the regular mines, it means it's only a potential and not a guarantee. I do recommend skipping this tab if you want to keep the mines a mystery, but it's a nice feature to be able to see if you're stressing about getting mushrooms or dinosaur eggs for whatever a reason. The next few tabs all have to deal with shops and what goods are sold on what day, and is in my opinion one of the most useful features of this tool. For example, we can see in the first tab here that the traveling cart will be selling a yam, herring, pufferfish, and a bunch of other items on Friday, which we can confirm here. This will be really useful if you don't want to make the trip out to the traveling cart but want to know what is being sold. Keep in mind if you select the option to guarantee year one community center completion that this tool will not include include the red cabbage seeds that might appear during the first year that are added to the list of items. So it won't necessarily save you a trip if that's what you're hunting for. If you're looking for a particular item, you can actually use this search feature here and select the range of years you want to search through this dropdown. So as an example, let's say you're wanting a duck feather. I can type that here and you see that duck feather will be sold on the 26th of the winter. So if we continue on, we see in the Krobus tab what items Krobus is selling every Wednesday and Saturday. And in the Sandy tab, you'll see what shirt Sandy is selling on that day. In both of these tabs, there is a search feature on them if you're hunting for something in particular. In the Wallpaper tab, you'll see the wallpapers that Pierre and Jojo Mart are selling. You can't afford the catalog yet, but are wanting to spruce up your place. The Geodes tab is another potentially cheaty tab. It'll show you what you'll get out of your Geodes if you take them to Clint to be crushed. Keep in mind, the Geode Crusher machine uses the same table, but offset by one. This is actually really really handy because if you want two of a particular item, once you get the item you want from Clint, go ahead and make your next geode done with the geode crusher and you'll get the same item again. There's a tab that displays the train schedule and pro tip, if you don't want to be at the train when it arrives, you can go there later in the day and the items will be there for you to pick up. Another kind of spoilery tab is the tab that displays events that occur overnight. So we'll see on the 17th of summer, the fairy is going to come and make some of my crops grow. There's also a tab that will let you know when the crane game is available to play at the movie theater and not being hogged by green shirt guy. I hate green shirt guy. We have another tab that will say what garbage cans have what on which day. If you're really dying for that garbage hat, then this will be your chance and you'll know where to look. The enchants tab is a really nice tab if you want to know what you'll get when you enchant at the forge. I actually recommend just not paying attention to what's written and instead hover your mouse over the ellipsis to get the full details. The mine chest tab will show you your rewards for reaching certain levels in the regular mines. And the gem birds tab can be used to show which type of gem birds will appear on each island location so that you can complete the jungle gem shrine puzzle before all the birds are encountered in game. And finally, the winter star tab will show you 
you what townsperson you are gifting to and receiving from for Festival of Winter Star. It can't show you which present you'll get, but it'll show you your potential presents. We see here that I have George as my gifter, which means there's a small chance I can get the elusive tea set. So that's pretty much Stardew Predictor Tool and everything it has to offer. I'll admit some of the things it shows you are a bit too much of a cheat for me if I'm wanting to do a more formal playthrough, but if you're finding yourself stressed about getting a particular item or you want to know what enchantment you'll get at the forge, this tool is invaluable. Let me know in the comments below if you'll be using Stardew Predictor. I'm Yoria. If you want to see more Stardew Valley tools in Mod Spotlights, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions or you want to see some of my other spotlights, you can watch these videos here. Until we see each other again, take care.